Hi, myself Rajesh. Welcome to Purely Open Source. In this video, I'm going to show you a demo of a blog application created using Munstack. So this is totally a production ready application, so you don't need to worry much. So you will be having, uh, you can, you will be able to create blogs. You will be able to automatically index your site to Google, and and also you can index your site to Bing. Microsoft Bing and you can you will be able to generate dynamic site XML so you can perform here yeah, we, we'll, uh, we are having will be having many features so you don't need to worry about that so I'm gonna give a glimpse of the application and the source code will be provided in the description link so this is the application that how it looks this is a home page so, uh, this is the banner and this is the application name mm, my website name usually glow and these are the categories that an admin adds and they will be directly reflected here so and this is the footer page so once you click this category name you will be able to see all the blocks related to this category so let's check it so it's taking time okay yep so all the blocks related to education I think you can see it okay so similarly you can check for uh, other categories too so you can check for entertainment yeah for entertainment we have only one block okay so to check all the blocks irrespective of categories so we can so if you click this blocks button so you'll be able to see the all the blocks irrespective of this category and you will be having a load option load more okay so uh, this is how we can view all the blocks let's view a single block okay let's check a block yeah this is the block that I have created uh, the title of the block is this and the image for this block is this and this is uh, this is a category and this is a tag this is the block that I have created so for this for every block we have a commenting system See, let's. I have just commented four, so you can just comment here. Excellent app. Just comment it. Okay, your comment will be posted for this particular block. So similarly, and we have the search option. So this search option is very dynamic. So it it search it searches all the tags all the blogs all the categories it search everything wherever it finds a keyword it brings out the results so let's type a keyword n and search yep we will be getting all the results with the letter n okay and let's check for suppose search editor yep so we'll be getting the results which consists the keyword editor so for search we have two options here you'll be able to search here in in built in the app or uh, other and the other option for search is for the page routing we'll be using page routing yep here in this page by using this page also you can search so for example new yep and they have the search result over here so these are the search options so similarly we'll be having the contact us page here this is a page where user can contact to the admin and this is the about us page okay and we'll be having we'll also having the privacy page yeah just you need to just change your app name or the company or whatever and you can free to go with it okay now let's talk about this login and registration page so our registration page looks like this okay so user can register or he can directly log in with the google so we are providing two types of login he will be one he can he can register to a website using email address or he will be he can be directly logged in with the google id so i already registered with my email address so i will be directly logged in logging in okay so yep first i will be logging in as use normal user later on will be logging in as admin okay so for one of the largest names okay okay the password Loading. Yep, this is the dashboard visible for the normal user. 
so he will be able to create a blog update the blog or delete whatever the blog he has created and he can update his profile okay so to create a blog we'll first create a blog so to create a blog we'll be having two text editors and both are very it's a, they are, these editors have all the features and customized features and actually it is so we have all the features for a blog to have for this text editor you can have the table you, know, you can implement table in this okay uh, you can add code you can you can do it whatever you want and the other editor is editor JS. now this is also a beautiful uh, editor so if you are uh, writing a blog or co on code i prefer editor js because editor js has many uh, you can embed many types of functionalities okay i will be yeah i will show you how it works okay so let's write a blog suppose testing testing editor okay okay uh, let's write hi this is testing app so if you want to embed an url you just need to paste an url here such as suppose let's take a youtube url okay this is a youtube url just paste the url here and this gets directly embedded into an app similarly if you want to embed a github github code you just need to have a github kist yeah suppose yeah this is a github code okay yeah this is the url of this particular guest so i'll just add dot js at this last of the file and extension so i'll be just pasting this particular url here and boom the github guest will integrated here similarly you can add this twitter and this code pen also you can add this code pen too okay so just paste the url here and the code pen gets embedded here so so it is a very beautiful editor you can perform any tasks and any tasks in this particular editor so you can uh, similarly you can embed instagram facebook uh, twitter you can embed any type of url code so yeah it has very it is pretty beautiful right so let's save this blog and check how it looks after creating the blog okay so hi this is testing hi this is testing app so welcome to glue welcome to glue okay okay select a category name education suppose for for movies tag name and publish okay yeah a new blog has been created so let's check the blog go to blogs yep you will be able to see this text editor here so open this blog yep this is the blog that we have created so look how beautiful it is and it is a mobile responsive too i can show you yeah, this is how it looks in the mobile so it looks pretty good it's totally mobile responsive so you don't need to worry about it much and let's check about the other options that a normal user has okay uh, he will be able to delete or update the blog okay these are the blogs that has created by me as a user so i can edit or delete a blog so we have created a testing editor so i can edit and update so to update okay so so here we can update the data so right now same process so we'll be deleting let's check with the delete option and the blog is deleted okay so this is how this a uh, user normal user works now let's check with an admin as we log in as an admin and see the features check the features okay uh password or hp okay now i am logging in as admin so this is how admin dashboard looks so admin can create category he can create tag actually tags can be created by normal users also you don't worry so create a blog update update uh, update the blog and site indexing tools 
Now let's talk about the site indexing tool. So this is a feature given only for admin. So he will be able to add the particular URL of a blog uh, for indexing to the Google or Bing. Okay, so let's check it how it works. So for indexing, we have two features. One we can do through this tool, and the other one, if while creating the blog, it automatically get indexed. Okay, you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about this tool also because whenever you whenever you create a blog or delete a blog if you create a blog it automatically gets submitted to google indexing if you delete a blog it automatically uh, gets removed from indexing i have added that feature and you can refer the back end okay the code is present in the server so i am unable to show it here because it is an inbuilt process running okay so this is a tool just to tool so that you can check it okay so this is the tool here we have these buttons you can download all the urls for your references so how many urls do you have and all this stuff so you can all the permutation combinations of the urls okay F uh, such as first uh, this is the name of the okay I, I, I can give an example i can show you through an example so this is an url that we have uh, this is an url of particular blog so let's check whether it is an indexed or not okay to check whether it has been indexed let's check with the script button get status okay so the request entity is not found it means this url has not been submitted for indexing so what we can do is just add uh, this click this button add to index okay so now the this has been added uh, this has been this particular url has been sent to indexing okay so similarly you can check other other sites other other url also check this particular url this has not been found so let's check this one right now we have added it to indexing let's check the status yep you can check the status the url has been updated okay so this is how this works if you want to remove this particular url from indexing you just need to press this button delete from indexing so and it gets removed from the in uh, google indexing okay so similarly we will have for search urls and tag for permutation combinations for all these tags okay and you will we are having for category and we will having for blocks so this is how it works and in in the other video i will be posting how to index 100 urls 100 not 100 200 or 1000 urls at a single time so i will be posting that code also yeah, i will be forming i will be creating another video showing how to uh, how to index 1000 urls or 200 urls at at a single time so the next step is generating uh, sitemaps dynamically. So I'm going to show you how to generate dy uh, dynamic uh, sitemaps. This is a big task that everyone and big issue that everyone face. So we have included that feature too in this. So we, you guys don't need to you know worry about a lot indexing your website, indexing your URL. So I can show you the URL. Yep. This is the URL. This, this URL actually gen, uh, dynamically generates all of your websites link or uh, URLs. Okay, uh, let's have a demo over this or not. I can, okay, I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so let's create a blog. Uh, let the blog name is site generator XML. Okay, uh, let's, let's write a content. Hello, Gloom. Gloom loves me. Welcome to Gloom. Please like and subscribe to channel. Channel. Okay. So let's post this data and let's check whether it is getting reflected in this sitemap or not. Okay, dynamically. Uh, education. Movies. Let's publish it. So one, okay, I'll tell you later one thing. I need to tell you something. Okay, the before this sitemap XML runs. Okay. Our content is too short. Oh man, okay, no issues. I just copy paste this to make the content big site generator xml right so let's refresh this page and let's check whether it's it's getting reflected or not okay yep let's search 
sitemap yep you can find it here okay it has been generated xml the xml is generated dynamically we have added this block so i want to tell you one thing here so whenever you are generating a site xml here so the all this url is automatically getting indexed in bing also so that is running in this code so i it is in backend it is running so it will be indexing all this code at a one to bing so you don't need to worry always to in, in the, uh, don't need to worry for indexing this world to bing so it automatically gets you know it automatically gets to indexed in the bing when you write when you run this particular xml file so this is how this works i think i have provided you all the enough content and i mean i think i made your task easy by giving providing you all the sitemap tools and indexing tools and seo everything so i hope you guys like the video please hit like and subscribe so in future videos i'm gonna come with the, come up with great projects so for example i can show you one project that i'm going to keep it open source so that is uh wait a minute yeah okay so this is the projects i think i'm i uh, in the coming videos i'm going to open open source this project too where you can drop the, where you can compress the image compress pdf convert pdf so you can perform all the task so hope you guys like the video thank you please hit like and subscribe